Okay, so here's a typical bomb calorimetry problem. When we combust 1.35 grams of benzoic acid in a bomb calorimeter, then 35.6 kilojoules of energy in the form of heat was released, and the temperature of the calorimeter increased from 25.0 to 28.0 degrees C. The reaction chamber was then emptied, and 1.95 grams of glucose was burned inside. During this process, a 2.54 degrees C temperature increase was observed. So what is the enthalpy of combustion for glucose? And we can also just think of the enthalpy of combustion as delta H reaction for the specific combustion reaction. Okay? So it's just a different name for the same thing that we have been calculating, delta H reaction, except in this case we're just specifically naming it a combustion reaction. Okay, so there's a couple of equations that we want to bring to mind here. Okay, one of them is we can get the heat from a bomb calorimetry experiment. Okay, if we have the heat capacity of the bomb calorimeter and the observed temperature increase. Okay, another equation that will come in handy. Actually, we don't need that right now, so let's wait on that. Okay, so let's take a look at this first equation. So we have the heat is equal to capital C, which is the heat capacity of the calorimeter, and del times delta T. Okay, now, nowhere in this problem do we have the heat capacity for the calorimeter. All right, so it's not in there. What we do have is the heat released and the temperature change. Okay, so what we have is temperature change and this heat released. So let's go ahead and plug that in there. Okay, and so we can get 35.6 kilojoules. So that was released from the reaction, but the bomb calorimeter absorbed it. So that's why I'm leaving it as a positive number, okay? And that's going to be equal to the heat capacity of the calorimeter. And delta T is going to be 28.0 degrees C minus 25.0 degrees C, which is just 3.0 degrees C. Nice easy math, okay? So let's go ahead and solve for the heat capacity. Okay, and so then we just end up with the heat capacity of 11.87 kilojoules per degree C. Okay, now this is an example of calibrating the bomb calorimeter. So we don't have the heat capacity of the calorimeter. We aren't going to just calculate that from the mass of everything put, put together. What we're going to do is we're going to burn something with a known delta H combustion or enthalpy of combustion, and we're going to measure how much heat the calorimeter absorbs. We're going to measure the temperature change, and then we're going to calculate that heat capacity of our bomb calorimeter. So that's called calibrating it. All right. So now what we're going to do is do another reaction, and this one is an experiment. So now we have the heat capacity for the calorimeter, so we can use that to figure out how much heat was produced from burning 1.95 grams of glucose. Okay? So in this case, let's also write Q bomb. Okay, so this is the heat absorbed by the bomb calorimeter. 11.87 kilojoules per degree C. Okay? And then multiplied by 2.54 degree C. Okay, so going up here, we combusted 1.95 grams of glucose. We observed a 2.54 degree C temperature increase. Okay, and so if we plug that in, then we're going to end up with 30.1 kilojoules of heat absorbed by that bomb calorimeter. Okay, so this is where we need to make a conceptual leap, shall we say. Okay, so we know how much heat was absorbed by the bomb calorimeter because we measured a temperature increase and we knew 
the heat capacity from a previous experiment. We calibrated our bomb calorimeter. Now, what we need to do is figure out the the enthalpy of combustion from that. Okay, so you've probably been wondering why we haven't used the 1.95 grams of glucose, but we will. We're going to use that now. Okay, and so the first thing that we want to do is realize that the heat absorbed by the bomb calorimeter is equal and opposite to the heat given off by the combustion reaction. Okay? So the combustion reaction gave off a certain amount of heat, in this case 30.1 kilojoules, and the bomb calorimeter absorbed it. So we know that Q combustion is neg uh, negative 30.1 kilojoules if we burn 1.95 grams of glucose. Okay? So now on the next slide, we're going to calculate the enthalpy of combustion using this information. We're going to use this experimental data as a conversion factor to figure out the heat of uh, combustion for glucose. So on the next slide. Okay, so let's just write down that our heat of combustion from 1.95 grams of glucose burned. Okay, that's C6H12O6. Okay, and it was negative 30.1 kilojoules. Okay, and now what we need to do is use this information. If we burn 1.95 grams of glucose, we're going to get 30.1 kilojoules of heat. We're going to use that as a conversion factor to go for, for a whole mole of glucose. So we're going to burn a whole mole. And so we need the molar mass for this. So you should calculate that. Okay. And if you do that, you add up 6 carbon, 12 hydrogen, 6 oxygen, then you get 180.16 grams per mole for glucose. Okay. Now using our experimental data as a conversion factor, so 1.95 grams of glucose produces 30.1 kilojoules of heat. Okay. And now if we go ahead and do the math, multiply 180.16 by negative 30.1 and then divide that by 1.95 grams, then we end up with negative 2780.9 kilojoules per mole. Okay? And so let's get rid of our grams here. So we end up with kilojoules per mole. Okay? And so this is delta H combustion. So we if we were to burn a whole mole of glucose, then we would end up with negative 2,700, negative 2,781 kilojoules per mole. Okay, so let's just review this process one more time to make sure that we know what we're doing. Okay, so we, we used our initial information to calibrate the bomb calorimeter. and get its heat capacity, okay, because we didn't have that. Okay, then we used that heat capacity to calculate the heat absorbed in a different experiment. So in our next experiment, which was burning that 1.95 grams of glucose, okay, and then after we did that, now we know that 1.95 grams of glucose produces 30.1 kilojoules of heat. So now we can use that to go from a whole mole of glucose. So we want to know the enthalpy of combustion for glucose, and that's going to be per mole. So we take the molar mass of glucose and we use our, our conversion factor of 1.95 grams of glucose 
produces negative 30.1 kilojoules of heat to get delta H combustion.